Okay, I'm Ron Culp. I live in DeSoto, Missouri. I'm the pastor of DeSoto Community Church of God. Been there six and a half years. Um, I've been in ministry since 1990, but always in the associate pastor role for up until I came to DeSoto. As far as what we've been studying, uh, where we're at right now, um, you know, w one of the things, I mean, there's a lot of things I could talk about, but this, I, I think where I'm at right now is really filtering everything through Jesus. Um, not through my own lens, not through my strengths, my weaknesses, what I dislike, uh, trying to avoid, <laughs> you know, um, you know, you're in a ministry towards, you know, okay. You know, because I, I don't know about you all, but I've been, uh, you know, with these conferences and different things like that, you know, how important it is to make sure it's in your, your strength and your spiritual giftedness and all this kind of stuff. And, um, but I, uh, you know, just really evaluate, trying to evaluate more and more through the lens of Jesus. And, you know, what does Jesus think about this? What does he say about this? And, um, and help others to, to see that too. Um, I, I think the the divorce document was huge. I think about that all the time. Um, and I know there've been a number of things that have been presented that have, that have come up that I, have said yes to that I would not have said yes to before that document. And they've been, it's been great. It's been, been, a, been a great, great journey doing that. Um, I, I, this whole f um, conversations we've had of uh, aspiring others um, uh, it is, you know, just wrapping my head around that and, and really seeing how Jesus did that. And it's not about trying to, get others to do what I want them to do. Um, and I've been subjected to that kind of um, leadership in the past. And, you know, I don't, I don't want to be that kind of a leader. And, um, you know, so it's, it's, it's affecting everything. It's affecting the way I'm talking to people, the way I'm preaching, although I know it will more and more as, as we go on. And I am understanding more and more uh, the person that God wants me to be and has created me to be. I I am just thinking in terms of, you know, communicating with people the, to help them to be, uh, yeah, aspire, aspire to, to know what God wants them to be and do what God wants them to do, I, I think is just, you know, just a, a, a work in progress. I, I feel like I'm in such the beginning stages of this. And, and you know, it's one of those things, and you've been, helped me with this too, not not feeling like, um, well, I've done everything wrong, you know. <laughs> and uh, But the more I'm trying to learn this, the more I'm trying to practice, the more I'm trying to have conversations with our kids, you know, and Sandra about, you know, the person God wants me to be, God wants them to be, and, um, you know, just to do that and yeah. our leaders in the church, you know, what God wants them to be and our, what God wants our church to be. And so it's, it's great. It's a great journey. Awesome. I would like to add yeah, that it's please. given me a, a, an enthusiasm and a renewed enthusiasm and a joy of uh, ministry in the sense of another thing, looking at it more. And we, we talked about this really early on of everything that we're going through you know, God is using it to work on me in some way. Um, and so it just being reminded of that and it has given me a new sense of uh, encouragement too and energy.